NIU enjoys an international reputation for its research program in experimental high-energy physics, which seeks to identify and understand the building blocks of nature. Identifying the building blocks of the NIU program, however, is a much simpler task. It starts with David Hedin, who formed the Physics Department Experimental Group more than two decades ago. The 54-year-old physics professor has been conducting research at Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory since 1976. In 1982, Hedin began working on what would evolve into D0, one of two large and now world-famous experiments at the Batavia Laboratory. This is the D0 assembly hall, and on the other side of those concrete blocks is the D0 collision hall. So what happened is between 1985 and 1991, a group of about 400 of us built the D0 detector, which is about 40 feet tall, 80 feet long, weighs over 5,000 tons, includes 15,000 gallons of liquid argon and uranium. So right now, on the other side of that hall, protons and antiprotons are colliding, and people in the uh, counting room are busily collecting data. The D0 collaboration involves hundreds of scientists and is conducted at the Tevatron, the world's most powerful particle collider. Hedin came to NIU in 1987 and recruited both faculty and student researchers for the Experimental High Energy Physics Group. Dave's a great professor because he combines a uh, real skill in his research with a real passion for the students. He has done an amazing job of involving students in some of the most high-level physics in the world. I think Dave deserves the Board of Trustees professorship because of his wide range of service to the university in teaching and in research and in direct service. He's an excellent teacher. He does cutting-edge research. He has been involved in outreach to the community. I call Dave a real true double threat when it comes to uh, academics. He's uh, a premier researcher, well respected in particle physics, but he's got this talent and this real knack for getting students involved, both undergraduates and graduate students. Dave and I have been collaborating on the D0 experiment here at Fermilab since uh, 1986 when I first joined the experiment. And throughout the entire time he was uh, involved with D0, he showed great judgment, um, he was very modest, he was always willing to put other people forward and uh, help them do the best physics they could do. Oh, Fermilab, it's a fantastic experience. Uh, this only place in the world like it. Uh, it's a premier physics institute and you can learn lots and lots of uh, career building skills. Uh, in high school, I realized I wanted to go into physics. I was either going to study the very smallest thing which are the particles, or the very largest, which are galaxies and stars. And here at Fermilab, they do astrophysics because there's a direct connection to particle physics. And so what I care about are what makes, what are the fundamental items that make up you and me and our universe as a whole, and why we're actually here. I was lucky that I was able to start on a number of different experiments at the beginning. So we, we saw the D0 experiment, which started in my own case in 1982, and we thought it was gonna last six or seven or eight years, and here it is 27 years later, and we're still collecting data. So to be able to take one of these projects from the beginning to the end, is just very satisfying. In terms of NIU, I think that we ended up attaining our goals. Um, we ended up with a PhD program in physics, and we've had, like I say, over 100 students work on the experiment. Without their effort, we also possibly would not have been able to put all the pieces together to have the collaboration make be as successful as it was. So NIU as a whole was able to have a serious and important impact on this experiment.